yes, there is a difference between organic and non-organic food. Food used to always be organic, right? It never used to have GMOs or pesticides or herbicides and things like that on it. They used other plants to kill bugs. Not to be like, I don't want to exaggerate anything, but if the person spraying the pesticides has to be in a full hazmat suit, why would I be eating it? Like, I, I genuinely am like, I can't having a hard time comprehending this, like the logic of this. So um, that being said, you don't want to lose your sanity over having to buy not, you know, non-organic bananas because that's what fits in your budget. Mm -hmm. So to me, like for my own mental health and the health of my family, we do the best we can on a week to week basis. And we prioritize um, the things that are going to be the most harmful to our body if we eat it in a non-organic state. It would be like organic grass-fed meats because they not only are grazing on all of that, like pesticides and herbicides over a long period of time. So it's saturated in the muscle. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be a lot harder for my gut to digest. And it's going to create digestive problems if I eat that over a long period of time. So for me, I prioritize that. Um, things like, you know, the dirty dozen, the clean 15, those kind of things I prioritize if I have to, like, if it's a good deal on stuff, then I'm going to, you know, buy a bunch and freeze a bunch, you know, of stuff. Um, we use our, uh, we go to grocery outlet a lot, um, because they have really good prices on their organic meat and their vegetables, um, are a really good price. Um, the other thing that we've started to do, you can, um, you can look kind of in your area, but there's two, uh, kind of box programs called Misfits Market and I've heard of Imperfect that. Produce, um, that is basically whatever the grocery store won't buy because the potato was too big or it was shaped wrong, or it had, you know, like it had two eyes on the pepper. I mean, like weird stuff like that. They, they won't buy it. And so then they can sell it for like 40% less, which means you as the purchaser are basically paying wholesale, wholesale pricing. There's another box company called Azure Standard, A-Z-U-R-E Standard, um, that has a ton of organic options, but they also have like, you can buy like whole chickens, you can buy like half a cow, like they have a lot of, that's a what lot we need of to really do. good options. So that's something that we've been doing to save. Yeah. Cause it's, it's a real thing, but then, so to answer that, yes, there is a difference between organic and non-organic. The USDA standard, um, still allows for like, like you said, runoff, uh, pesticide runoff, their standard is not, um, the standard, I would say it is not like the true standard of organic farming. So the easiest way to find out um, and, and really save money is like finding local farms, farmers markets and asking them, how do you take care of your animals? You know, how do you grow your plants? And a lot of them will say we couldn't afford to actually purchase the USDA label. Like, yeah, I've heard that. The only reason why of course, we don't right. have it is because one, we actually exceed their standard and two, we couldn't afford or they don't want to be under the USDA's jurisdiction. Yes, there is a difference. Um, they've done studies like in Finland and Norway on, you know, taking like people's urine and hair samples and saliva samples on like a standard American diet um, and then cutting out all processed foods and like looking at their pesticide and heavy metal levels. And it's like completely cleared of metals and pesticides within two weeks of changing just to organic food. So there is very clear evidence that there is a difference. Most farms are proud to disclose that how they take care of their plants and their animals. Mm -hmm. So the ones that don't take care of them well, don't usually disclose. The same is true for like nutritional supplements, oils, things like that. They will readily disclose how they do their farming practices when they're proud of it. They will not disclose it when they are not proud of it. Meaning if I call and I say, Hey, can you tell me, you know, how you grow your lavender, let's say, and, and they say, Oh, we can't disclose that information to you. To me, that's like an automatic red flag because either they've purchased it from somebody else who's not disclosing it or their practices are not great and they're not disclosing it.